This is a story called Spark the Firefighter. And it Spark ends up being a dragon who comes to the town of Hardscrout. I think it's a really interesting story. <coughs> the town of Hardscrabble had an opening in their volunteer fire department, so they posted a sign and handed out notices, but nobody answered the call. And then one applicant finally showed up. It was a dragon. My name is Spark, he said. The chief was not sure this was a good idea. He had never heard of a dragon that wanted to fight fires. Then I'll be the first, said Spark. What Spark didn't say was that he was, that he was actually afraid of fire. Other dragons couldn't wait to blow flames. Not Spark. <coughs> fire was so bright, so hot, it had always made him nervous. Without fire, Spark hadn't been able to guard treasure or frighten off unfriendly knights. The other dragons had made fun of him. To be a proper dragon, Spark needed to get over this fear. And for that, he figured he had come to the right place. You might as well give him a try, the other firefighters whispered. Nobody else wants the job. The chief agreed. All right, Spark, he said, let's see what you're made of. First, Spark had to do push-ups and sit-ups. Then he crawled through tunnels and carried equipment up and down stairs. It was important to make sure he was in good dragon shape. Spark learned how to carry ladders and control a water hose. He studied books on helping people who were injured or burned. The firefighters also gave demonstrations at schools. Smoke rises, the chief explained. Crawl under it to get out. And if your clothing catches on fire, stop, drop, and roll. See, he's demonstrating how to do that. Spark's first real test came on a smoky stove. Never put out a grease fire with water, said the chief. Use chemicals to smother it. Spark didn't get too close, but he finished the job in the end. His second fire took him into the woods. The trees crackled like fireworks, the flames dancing wildly off the trunks and branches. Spark backed off a little at first. I can do this, he told himself over and over. And he did. It looks like Spark is conquering his fear. As the weeks passed, other emergencies came up. An electrical fire at the hard scrabble inn had Spark clearing out the rooms. Some people wanted to pack their bags first, but a growl from Spark hurried them along. Firefighters use their brains as well as their muscles, the chief liked to say. And believe it or not, sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. Spark wasn't sure what this meant, but when a mill fire threatened to go out of control, he used his brain a lot. He delivered some of the river water just in time. Good work, said the chief. Way to go, Spark, said the other firefighters. And then one day, the alarm went off again. The whole crew arrived to find a big barn burning. Horses and cows were trapped inside. It's too dangerous for us to go in, said the chief, even in our protective suits. Spark hesitated. He knew it wasn't too dangerous for a dragon. Spark thought about the poor animals with no way to get out. I have to do something, he said. With a mighty roar, Spark rushed into the barn. The flames licked at his feet, but he didn't care. The horses and cows were huddled in the middle. He could see they were even more afraid than he was. Then Spark took a deep breath. He shot out a burst of dragon flame and blew out one of the walls. Follow me, Spark shouted, and led the animals to safety. What a brave dragon. Spark could hardly believe it. This must be what the chief meant about fighting fire with fire. From that day on, Spark used his courage and everything he had learned about fire safety to do his job better than ever. 
But now that his fear was gone, he was eager to try other things. The other firefighters were sorry to see him go. Good luck, Spark, they said. Thanks for all your help. Back home, Spark is pretty busy these days. There's treasure to protect and princesses to impress. And he keeps a close watch for knights looking for a fight. But he still returns to hard scrabble sometimes. To help out with the new recruits. That's Spark, the firefighting dragon. <laughs>